Well, I'm, I'm very uh, happy. Obviously, we worked hard on it. Um, uh, I think it's, uh, you know, we still got, got the other half of the process to work on now. But if we, uh, if we can successfully get it out, it uh, will give the, uh, the people of the state of Arkansas a chance to be a part of the process of uh, recognizing how important uh, highways are, how woefully uh, inadequate our current funding is. And uh, you know, if we get a majority of the people convinced of that, then uh, they'll make a decision that this is a good funding model. So uh, it gives us an opportunity to address something that's extremely important to the people of the state of Arkansas. When do you think you'll run it in the Senate? Uh, Senate excuse me, I just ran up the stairs here. <laughs> I'm not in good shape as I should be. Uh, uh, no, the first part of the week, as soon as it gets on the, on the agenda down there, after they assign it and be down there working. It's just a go-forward strategy. There was some discussion as to the timing of when it may be on the ballot. I think November was mentioned, and there's been some discussion it might be a different time. Can you kind of clarify when that, that might appear for the voters? Yeah, the, uh, the, the bill provides that it can be, uh, it's called by the governor, it can be a special election or called in conjunction with a general election. Uh, there were several members that approached me before I ran the bill, uh, concerned about the cost, understandably. And uh, as I explained on the floor, uh, I contacted the governor uh, right before I came in. We discussed that, and uh, uh, he, <coughs> he, like uh, me and all the other members, are you know cost conscious in our budget. And in uh, making a determination of when to call that election, uh, he'll um, make that paramount in his consideration of uh, the you know associated cost of it should be a special election. But it's a under the bill as it is, it's uh, it's the governor's call. What's your preference? Well, uh, from the standpoint of the the exigency of uh, the needs, uh, we need to you know if it becomes law, we need to do it as uh, quickly as we can, so that uh, uh, it, it's a matter of you know you weigh the cost of the special election uh, versus the cost of. Uh, the, escalate, the, the, the escalating cost of the maintenance that would occur over the 20 months before we would wait for a general election and uh, without having the gurus of finance and highway costs and stuff, I can tell you that uh, we'd end up saving a whole lot of money by going ahead and starting the repairs, getting the bond, bond issue and starting repairs as soon as we can. What about the second measure? Uh, the and, and the, the, the constitutional they... amendment, uh, I believe that uh, Representative Hall, who's chair of uh, state agencies, uh, is going to uh, get the committee next Friday to uh, vote on their on, on the House uh, recommendations, and then of course Senate will be doing likewise, and then the committees will get together. Uh, there's uh, I don't think there's any doubt amongst the members on the committee that uh, that's that's my. Uh, request and recommendation that that be the, the, the number one amendment that uh, the House state agencies uh, recommends out. Um, this, uh, you know, the bill that we dealt with here today, you all have heard me talk about it, uh, you know, it's two part. One is, is maintenance of funding for maintenance of our existing uh, interstate and, and state highways, and the other is uh, offering the people the opportunity to decide whether they want to pay for four lane grid system. So. We're halfway done on, on the first part, and uh, if we're successful in getting, getting this bill uh, enacted into law, it certainly gives uh, increased impetus for uh, the, the second measure to get referred to the people. What's the total uh, revenue uh, projected for each of those two measures? Uh, the uh, revenue projection on the bill that was passed today, the additional five cents plus the four cents diesel that's there now, plus the uh, federal highway uh, monies that's earmarked to uh, uh, maintenance and reconstruction on the interstates, which all of those combination would be uh, used to uh, pay off the bonds. That would be a, a $1.1 billion um, program. Uh, then under the half cent sales tax, if that should be approved, bond program there would, uh, I believe, uh, $1.8 billion would be available for uh, construction of uh, four-lane highways in uh, conjunction with connecting up Arkansas on the four-lane grid system.